And we're <coughs> and well, welcome back once again to to Let's Play Kabuki Quantum Fighter. We we've run, we've run into we hit a bit of a brick wall with the boss of stage four, but we're not going to let that stop us. With me once again is Nick Quinn. Yep, thank you. Thank you for my brother in you know Kabuki-based cyber warfare. Yes. And we're go we're going to we're going to I'm going to try my hand against that boss again and see if we can get further. You're my Zhang Di, John. I don't, I, I don't know what that means. You're my brother. Okay. That's Chinese. That's from Rush Hour 3. <laughs> <laughs> now we're, we, we've reached the point of quoting Rush Hour movies. <laughs> Got one. Nice. Victory! Excellent. And now, I do what I once swore I would never do. May God have mercy on me. <laughs> Alright, now the thing is, you gotta like, you gotta get under him until he fires his green goop, or death ray, or whatever it is. Which means you have to like, stay under him until the last second, basically. Right. To get him to actually fight. There we go. Notice how screwed up. I hadn't really appreciated before how screwed up that background is. I know. It's going back and forth. The eyes are actually. It's like a screaming mouth. Is this like hell? Because those things above are also. Look away from me! Yeah, the whole thing's just... <laughs> That's fine. No pressure. That's when you shine. Shine bright like a diamond, John. Shine under pressure. So how does it take two hits? Three hair hits? To... It, it, you have to hit him more. It takes more than one hit to take a bar from him, I think. <laughs> I, I, keep, I keep jumping the gun. There we go. He's hoping I'm, I'm epileptic and he'll send me into a seizure. <laughs> Not today. Oh, he's a little fast now. Realizing he's got to live all the life he's got. Victory! I did it! Excellent. Nice. I have killed the unkillable. Conquered him. I never beat this game as a kid. I'm wondering if that's the one I got stuck on. I don't know. Check out what's happening here. We have pinpointed the enemy's invasion route. It's coming up on the monitor. What invasion route? It's just they're going to launch nukes. Out. Yeah. Oh, satellite. Satellite Hyperion. Wait. Look at the monitor. It's the Hyperion. Research. Satellite. Satellite. I thought it had been lost years ago. Sure. Are there a lot of things that you need to experiment on in space that you can't experiment on on Earth? Oh, sure. All sorts of zero gravity phenomena. Hmm. Of 
course, I'm sure. But it looks... I mean, it says so. ...like it's being controlled by the computer. How can he tell that? I don't know. Our own satellite used in battle against us. With a self-destruct destruction. Why would why would you build space probes with a self-destruct device? I don't know. Can't we just did we get like when they when they sent like the Voyager probes into the outer solar system where they said they might get boarded by pirates or something? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Can't we just blow it up? It's not that simple. Why would it ever be that simple? The program to run it is stored in Area 5. No way to it. said that twice. Meanwhile! Oof. This text is kind of frustrating as well. Colonel, did you hear that? You can get in and knock out... Ah, oh, here we go. The defense system in Area 5. Roger. On my way. What is the little dot on your head for? I don't know. That's his Kabuki infrared sensor. Yes. You can now use the remote control Bolo. That sounds interesting. What? What? I'm just reporting what it tells me, Nick. Why would you need a Bolo that's remote controlled? Why would you not? That's, that's a better question to ask. How would that even work? I don't know. Nick, with the power of Kabuki, many things that would otherwise not be possible become not only possible, but commonplace. Like quantum bombs Bol that appear to just be dynamite. <laughs> Bolo doesn't even fit thematically. Well. That's like... That's an Australian... Something what? What? Whoa! It's like a lobster man with detachable... No, yeah. Oh, it's crap. Oh, it's oh, that, oh, that thing is in the get my Damn it! Got some chips, which... I'm just gonna shoot the next... Ah! Ah, it's one of those gator mouths. Ah, I just we defeated the toughest fight I've ever encountered in this game, and now I'm getting the shit kicked out of me by regular enemies. Um, this stuff looks like it's made of bone, doesn't it? Yeah, like root bones. So did you see that study that talked about reflexes in video games? Uh, no. What's that about? It, um, it was like a study conducted on video game players to assess, like, how age affects us. Mm -hmm. And, like, how the human body is designed to be at its peak in the mid-20s. Um, uh, so it's like... They did a exam of fighting game players and StarCraft players mm -hmm. and how they fare age-wise. Okay. And StarCraft-wise, you hit your peak around 19 years old. Okay. In terms of fastest reflexes, and it just starts going downhill, like sharp decline after that. In fighting games, it's 24. Interesting. Ooh, I assume that green stuff is bad. Oh no, Not ice. Bad. Ice has been my natural enemy in this game, as you may know. Oh no! There we go. Well, that appears to be a little mini conveyor belt there. These seem to be like, sort of like, mini versions of, like, bosses I fought. Yeah. Actually, fairly impressed. Um, so it, it's sliding with your momentum, right, on the ice? Yeah. Wait, how do I? I like trap? I feel I'm not trapped down here, but you have a double jump on you. No, no. Double jumps weren't really nearly as much. Oh, oh, it's the oh, it's grabbable. I see. I just realized that thing's kind of a lizard man. Yeah. Nice. 
Does my face look like it's wearing sunglasses? Is it? Is it not wearing sunglasses? I don't know. Anything's possible in Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Yep. So there's like a mini physics engine. What's that? There. There's like a mini physics engine. I don't know. I mean, to make ice work, it's not like... Damn it! You know. Some sort of oh, that blade coming out there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, watch your time. Uh. Now that was like the platforming is hard, at least for me because I'm not good at platforming. But it's not like bullshit hard. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the platforming is hard, but it's not, like, bullshit hard. Like, there aren't, like, alien enemies constantly whacking into you and sending you flying into pits and whatnot. Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, it's not like Ninja Gaiden. It's not like Ninja Gaiden levels of BS. Ow! This one was a pretty long stage. That chip swapping... Is this supposed to be just I press up or down to swap chips for life? It doesn't appear to be working. I thought it was down. I'm very nearly out of time. Or maybe be in down. gonna make it. I don't have time. But at least I've got a better sense of what to do next time. Oh! Oh wait! I'm so close! Power through it! Power through it! Oh, fuck. <laughs> 